Good morning, guys. Welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner, and welcome to Vlogmas number eight. So this morning, I have a few hours this morning to get a little bit of work done. I didn't film at the coffee pot today because I figured, eh, every day is kind of boring, right, guys? But I got up this morning around 4.15ish, 4.20ish. But I wanted to, um, I'm going to be working on some coloring today. I have some sheets here that I've colored and this, all of these images that I'm going to try to color today and tomorrow are um, going to be, um, they're going to be cut out with the brother scan and cut and they're going to be put on cards, kind of simple cards, but you know, they're not going to be elaborate scenes. They're just going to be kind of simple and I'm going to use the sentiments that kind of go with the, each of the cards um, they kind of go with each of the stamps and I'll show you them in just a second and they're going to be given to my oldest daughter Chrissy aka the nurse um, she works on an oncology pediatric floor in a hospital and this way um, the kids have a card that they can give to their loved one for Christmas so that's what I'm going to be working on today and when I can tomorrow I'm going to give them to her on um, Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure. Whatever day I finish them up. They're going to go pretty quick once I get them colored. So, But I also wanted to give this brush a shot, so I have an idea for that. I'm going to show you that. And now I just want to show you what I'm going to be working on today, and then I'll show you, I'll come back and show you throughout the day as well. I don't want this video to be 100 years long. So like I said, I'm going to do a little background work with the tumble glass and this um, Clarity Stamp, the biggest brush. I'm going to try that. So what I have for the cards that I'm going to be doing um, for the hospital, for the, for the kids at the hospital is, see how my desk is uneven? It just rolls. This is what I have. This is one of the stampings that I did. I think I showed you guys on camera. Um, but I'm going to be doing um, a card maybe with Mr. and Mrs. Claus and then maybe a couple of reindeer. So I'll do two different cards out of this. I'm going to color those up. I'm going to do um, the two little flamingos with the Christmas hats and maybe the presents. That'll be one little card. And then I'm going to see how these cut out with the brother scanning cut. Um, I know the twig will. I don't know about this tree probably will. I'm not sure about this tree, but I'm going to see how that works. So I've stamped those out. Pretty much all the little characters I used are all from the little characters from um, mm -hmm, Lawn Fawn. So I'm going to do the little car. I stamped out some extra little hats for like the gingerbread. I'm going to do the birds. I'm going to do that little guy, whoever he is. I'm going to do the unicorn. This is a Simon Says Stamp dog. I'm going to do him. I'm going to put the hat on the bunny over here. The penguin the little fox with the hot chocolate or whatever, the owl. And then, like I said, I stamped out three of those little ponies and or unicorns, and I'm going to be featuring those on a card. So that should give me about, I'm guessing, um, three, about, about 15 cards to give to her. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then this one, I've got a little... Um, that little marshmallow guy underneath here and this is where I want to try this background because if it doesn't really work you know mm, it's okay I just want to see what it looks like so I put this little design on the front it's going to be a one layer card that I'm going to color the image behind it and we're just going to kind of see what happens I haven't used the brush yet like I said the brush was a little funky when I got it I thought um, the packaging was you know, I read all the comments and it seems like that's normal though for the packaging, so I'm not going to worry so much about it. I am wondering if I should protect the back of this card though. I'm wondering. So why don't we do it this way? All right, and I just want to put a little bit of wash of color so that what's underneath this little. Um, section right here stays white and then the other part's going to be the tumbled glass blue and let's see what happens I am having my coffee I did and you can see it's probably sat here a little too long I did have a cup early this morning um, just one little cup and then I had a cup I poured this to have with my husband but I didn't finish it so 
he's out the door so how how about yesterday guys wow i'm telling you i was on an adrenaline rush all day long from the prizes um whoa that was a big day yesterday i don't think i really and i really don't have a clue what i'm doing here guys either so i'm guessing you just kind of run the brush on here Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I just have a little um, removable tape. Holding it down. Well, it's certainly much softer than the um, sponges for sure, right? I don't know. I feel like I can't really see what's happening. Oh, I don't want to go underneath there, and I think I just did. Poop. I should have taped it down a little bit better. I feel like maybe my ink pad's not quite as juicy as it could be either, so I'm sure that's not helping. But again, I want most of the color to be around the, the darker of the color to be around the outside edge and then to be lighter as it goes up. I'm personally finding this to be much harder than the sponges. Much harder on my wrist too. You guys know I got arthritis. All right, let's just kind of see what it looks like so far. I don't want to pull it all the way up because I don't want to lose Oh, that's kind of pretty, look. <sighs> oh, that's actually really pretty. All right, let's see if I can line it back up now. Ding bat. I shouldn't have pulled it up. And let me make sure that looks good. Because the sun is out, it's so bright. Oh, that's going to be really cute. What a soft look. All right, guys, I will show you. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off for a little bit, and I'll be back and show you what it looks like when I'm finished with it. Like I said, this is going to be the um, just a one-layer card, and I'm just doing this one just because I wanted to see um, how it was going to look. But I'll be checking back in with you guys later um, to show you the rest of the coloring. So, ciao. Hey guys welcome back all right so I didn't get very far I ended up spending the afternoon with the grandbabies and um, it's now dinner time to make dinner and I have already posted what I did color this did not turn out well at all my um, flamingos were horrible so we're gonna try I'm gonna restamp those tonight and try it again tomorrow but all I really got done is I did finish that card we started this morning. Wow, the light is really bad. Wow. Um, and it turned out really cute. I have to tell you guys, I'm pretty impressed with those brushes. And it washed very good as well. So, like I said, a lot of what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to keep it pastel-y. And um, I'm going to do some pastels and some brights, actually, both for the hospital cards. But this is one of them that's going to be going to the hospital. And it's just super cute. It's a one layer card and it turned out stinking adorable. So I glossy accented, you won't be able to see in this light, but I glossy accented the um, coffee or the hot cocoa. And I put some um, diamond stickles around to make it look like snow around the edge. And I just think it's super cute. And then I also did the um, unicorns and I thought they turned out adorable. I'm going to put a close up. Um, 
after this because I know it's kind of it's kind of dark in here. I'm not really quite sure why it's so dark, but anyway, so that's all I did. As you can see, all my markers are still out, but none of the rest of these got touched because I just been I was just busy. So I might color some of these tonight. If I do, I'll show them tomorrow. Um, but more than likely, I will do them tomorrow and um, get them finished up this weekend. Also, the D stash will be going up on um, Friday night around 7. So be looking for that. It is a, um, a few dies and a bunch of stamps. And a lot of them are Christmas stamps, guys. So... Um, not just, but a lot of them are Christmas stamps. And um, so that will be going up Friday night around 7, give or take. Or probably give more than take. Um, the grandbabies will leave by 6, so I should be able to get it uploaded by 7. Or maybe no later than 7.30, quarter till 8, I'm guessing. Alright, so I am going to call this the end of day 8 of Blogmas. And I will see you tomorrow for Blogmas number nine. So I'll pop a few pictures, close-ups of these two things that I did finish today. I had high hopes of doing at least half of them today, but it did not happen. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.